hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is the first time of you seeing my channel you're welcome my name is adobe and i vlog about my experience as a black person here in china in this vlog i'll be talking about how my family and i are living like locals here in china also i'll be showing you how chinese local market looks like and the things you can see inside chinese local market so stay tuned and enjoy this video <laughs> So here they are speaking Cantonese. Cantonese is spoken in Hong Kong, Macau, Guangzhou, and southern part of China. And then some persons will be asking, is Cantonese a type of Mandarin? Well, Mandarin and Cantonese are completely different languages, although Cantonese and Mandarin have many similarities. Since I've overcome one of the challenges of being a foreigner here in China, which is the language barrier, I speak Mandarin. This has helped strengthen the conversation between me and the Chinese locals. So now I'll be taking you around Chinese local market. Let's see what they have inside Chinese local market. Ni hao. Ni hao. This is Buy Chinese 我以为你会自己会弄你可以拿出来一个我看看吗 
at first, when my husband saw this, he thought that it was a snake. But the seller told us that, no, that this is an eel. He went further to explain that eels are very popular in Chinese cuisine and can be prepared in many different ways. Okay, so here we ended up buying this catfish that we we'll use and cook at home for the kids. The cost of living for a foreigner living in China can vary based on the city and the lifestyle of the individual. Generally, expenses can include accommodation, food, transportation, and entertainment. Talking about accommodation, this can vary significantly based on the city and the type of housing. For example, rents in major cities like Beijing or Shanghai might be higher compared to smaller cities. Secondly is the transportation. Public transportation in China is so affordable. Talking about entertainment and miscellaneous, this includes expenses for leisure activities, cultural experiences, personal items, health insurance, phone bills, and other unforeseen expenses. Please subscribe to our channel and join this big family. Now we are walking towards the bus stop to take a bus. 
Using public transportation in China is so affordable and that's why we love taking it to save costs. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on your notification button to, to be notified every time we upload a new video. My baby is also da. saying bye. <laughs>